Hello, this is a presentation created by the Florida State University College of Nursing. In this presentation, we are going to talk about exploring heart healthy food options. My name is Megan and my fellow classmates, Kendall, McKenzie, and Lonique are here today to talk to you about different recipes that are both affordable and healthy to try. So today we're going to talk about first, the importance of heart health, things that can impact your heart health, heart healthy meal options, comparative food, food options that can improve heart health, and negative impacts of poor heart health. About the importance of heart health. Cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death in the United States. It affects all genders and ethnicities equally. In addition, your risk goes up as you age. Heart disease is caused by the buildup of atherosclerotic plaque in the vessels and surrounding the heart. Without intervention, this plaque buildup puts individuals with heart disease at risk for many health complications, including heart attack and stroke. Taking care of your heart and preventing these problems before they arise is the best way to prevent these complications. In the corner, you'll see a picture talking about types of heart disease, cardiac arrhythmias, atherosclerotic disease, heart valve disease, heart infections, and heart failure are all types of heart disease. Next, we will talk about modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors impacting heart health. First, modifiable risk factors are things that you have the power to change such as eating a diet high in saturated fats, trans fat, and cholesterol, your physical activity, alcohol intake, tobacco use, hypertension or high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uncontrolled diabetes, and obesity. Then, non-modifiable risk factors are the ones that you cannot change. Family history, sex, as it affects men and women equally, age, as your age increases, so does your risk for heart disease, and your ethnicity. So what does heart healthy mean? First, does it matter what foods I eat? Yes, it matters. Foods high in cholesterol and fat are bad for you and contribute to the plaque, to the plaque buildup that we discussed earlier. Basically, which food items do you think are better for your heart? Fried greasy foods or fresh fruit or vegetables? Clearly, the fresh fruits and vegetables are better options for a healthy heart. What can I do to make better food choices? To make better food choices, start small and adjust your normal diet. Easy swaps like Greek yogurt instead of ice cream, water instead of soda or high carbonated drinks, Carrot sticks instead of chips are all easy swaps that you can do today. And what are food items I can buy at the grocery store? Most food items will be able to be bought at your local food market. Whole grain breads, fresh produce, fruits are all options that are available at your store. Even frozen sections offer options for heart healthy frozen entrees when you don't have as much time to prepare a meal. Even frozen fruit is available, and this is another option. What does a heart healthy diet look like? The American Heart Association suggests that you eat a diet that is high in a variety of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, low fat dairy products, fish, nuts and legumes, non-tropical vegetable oils, low in saturated fat, low in trans fat, low in sodium, low in red meat such as steak, and low in sweet and sugar sweetened beverages. Here is a slide with options for heart healthy snacks. There are 47 listed. Under fruits, you will see grapes, apples, bananas, watermelon, blueberries and blackberries, peaches, raisins, or raisins, dried apple slices, and the dried banana chips 
are options for healthy fruit op options. Drinks, such as a fruit juice smoothie or fresh fruit juice, are also a good idea. Other snack items you can consider are cucumber salad, sugar-free jello, plain Cheerios, a fresh fruit salad, unsalted trail mix, and rice cakes are things you can look into as well. Dairy, so Cheerios with skim milk, fat-free cheese, low-fat yogurt, and Greek non-fat yogurt are also good ideas. You'll see that unsalted nuts are options as well as vegetables such as chickpeas, cucumber slices, kale chips, broccoli, cauliflower, green pepper sticks, celery and carrots, or radishes. of this talk. And we're going to talk about the ones that are deemed super because they have lots of characteristics that make them better than others. So even though there are a lot of foods out there that are good for you, they have to have many different characteristics that are good for you to be considered super. These foods that I'm going to talk to you about will help prevent cardiovascular disease, specialty, type 2 diabetes, more than half of my patients have diabetes, hypertension, 90% of my patients have hypertension, certain cancers, I'd say a good fourth of my patients have cancer. Okay, so broccoli, oranges, spinach, and then there's other things going with spinach. Blueberries, those are really good and they freeze very well. Pumpkin, not just for Halloween. Turkey, not just for Thanksgiving. Soy, yogurt, whole grains. Now, you know, people are getting on the bandwagon, they're saying whole grains. It truly needs to be whole grains. It can't be whole grains to start with and then process to oblivion. Walnuts, very, very good. And there's all the sidekicks for walnuts, including the peanuts and macadamia nuts that I have. Tea, so those that are coffee drinkers, you might want to consider having a cup of tea every once in a while. 
wild salmon, not the farm kind, the wild salmon. And beans, not just the kind that are musical, okay? And tomatoes. It's not just about avoiding disease, though. It's about feeling good. It's not just the last fourth to a third of your life that's affected. It's every single day. If you can switch over to these superfoods, you will feel a whole lot better. So now we're gonna talk about heart healthy meal options on a budget. These recipes are all can all be found on the American Heart Association website. And they include turkey sliders with avocado, mushrooms, and Swiss cheese, spaghetti squash spaghetti, grilled Cuban mojo marinated pork tenderloin and fried plantains, Oaxican avocado jacama appetizer, chunky artichoke salad, gazpacho, and ranch chive popcorn. The first recipe we're going to talk about is the turkey sliders with avocado, mushrooms, and Swiss cheese. Some nutrition facts for this meal are that it only includes 470 calories per serving, it has 45 grams of protein, 8 grams of fiber, 101 milligrams of cholesterol, and 503 milligrams of sodium. The heart healthy part of this meal is that it substitutes a fatty red meat for a lean meat like turkey. And it has a good fat in the avocado as well as the tomatoes. The next recipe we're gonna talk about is spaghetti squash spaghetti. This meal contains 172 calories per serving, six grams of protein, six grams of fiber, only 10 milligrams of cholesterol, and only 64 milligrams of sodium. And the best part about this meal that it's on a budget is only $2.63 per serving. This meal keeps it heart healthy by substituting the vegetable spaghetti squash for the whole grain noodles, which decreases sodium and cholesterol of this meal. The next meal we're going to discuss is grilled Cuban mojo marinated pork tenderloin with fried plantains. This meal only contains 317 calories per serving. It also has 27.9 grams of protein, 2.1 grams of fiber, 74.5 milligrams of cholesterol, and 135 milligrams of sodium. This meal is heart healthy because it uses pork tenderloin, which is a lean cut of meat instead of a fattier meat like red meat and it's marinated in a flavorful marinade to keep it moist and tender. Another meal we're going to discuss is called the Oaxican Avocado Jacama Appetizer. This meal only has 44 calories per serving, one gram of protein, two grams of fiber, zero milligrams of cholesterol, and six milligrams of sodium. This meal is super easy to make and you cut by cutting two inch round slices of the jacama and in a bowl you're going to mix avocado, mango, green onions, pumpkin seeds, and chile verde, which three of those items were on the superfoods that you should incorporate for good heart health. And you put all of those on the jacama slices and then sprinkle with lime zest and they're ready to go. Another recipe is the chunky artichoke salad. This meal features only 164 calories per serving, 3.9 grams of protein, 10.2 grams of fiber, zero milligrams of cholesterol, and only 109 milligrams of sodium. This meal is kept heart healthy because it uses frozen artichoke hearts versus the ones that are marinated and canned because those have lots of sodium. This next recipe is for a gazpacho. It includes a lot of the superfoods we mentioned earlier and heart healthy food, fruits and vegetables such as tomatoes, cucumbers, celery, and there's also no added salt. It has zero cholesterol content, five grams of fiber, and only 108 milligrams of salt per serving. And this meal will only cost $2.35 per serving. This next recipe is for ranch chive popcorn, which can be a, healthy, a heart healthy snack. 
This also has no cholesterol content and low sodium and is, an affordab is affordable at the price of 42 cents per serving. You can keep this heart healthy by substituting butter for canola, safflower, or olive oil. Um, a well-balanced diet is an essential part of healthy eating habits and includes foods from all different food groups. It's also important to include daily exercise into your routine to decrease your risk of developing heart disease. Dividing your meals into appropriate portion sizes can help prevent overeating and make sure you're getting the right amount of each food group. As you can see in the photo to the left, the biggest portions are vegetables and grains. These are the items that are going to fill you up the most. Next is fruits and protein and then dairy. If you can follow this portioning guide while incorporating the right heart healthy foods, you can decrease your risk for heart disease. As far as comparing foods and making better choices, Refined grains such as white flour, white bread, and white rice are low in fiber and can increase blood sugar levels. Whole grains are a healthier alternative because they are a good source of dietary fiber, which can help to lower cholesterol level levels. Whole grains can include whole wheat, oatmeal, whole oats, and brown rice. These pictures show some locally available options um, as an alternative to white rice. A two pound package of brown rice is available for less than $2. Um, the whole wheat bread shown is a healthy alternative to white bread and whole grain pasta is a healthy alternative to pastas made from refined flours. And fruits and vegetables, the fruits that offer the most benefits include apples, pears, oranges, and other citrus fruits. Vegetables that offer the most benefits are green leafy vegetables, cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli and cauliflower, and green and yellow vegetables such as green beans, carrots, and peppers. Here we can see some of the, the fruits that offer benefits such as blueberries, strawberries, and other varieties such as watermelon and pineapples. Publix, our local supermarket, has our blueberry crates on sale for two for five dollars, and you can also get fresh strawberries three for ten dollars. Making better choices when it comes to protein include red meats that generally red meats are higher in saturated and trans fats. Choosing lean cuts of meat is a healthier option. Chicken and fish also tend to have lower sodium, lower levels of saturated fats. Vegetable proteins such as beans are also a good alternative. Here we can see other varieties of proteins that are offered at Publix such as chicken breasts or chicken tenders. They are lean and less in unsaturated fats. We have salmon which includes omega-3s and also high in protein and if you are vegan or vegetarian there's dry beans which are low in sodium which are preferred over canned beans. Many dairy products such as whole milk, butter, and cream contain saturated fats. When choosing what to buy look for products that are low in fat or fat free. Here are a couple milk options. When shopping on a budget, we try to avoid brand name milks. So as you can see, the Publix brand of reduced fat milk, it's 285, whereas the Dairy Pure is 349. So you can save about a dollar and a couple of cents by buying the Publix brand milk. And with almond milk, you save about five cents buying the Publix brand almond milk over the Almond Breeze brand. Here are some dairy options for snacks. Um, you can get probiotics in yogurt. We, they offer the plain low fat, the plain vanilla whole milk. You can also substitute, instead of buying Activia, you can get a tub of plain Greek yogurt and cut fresh fruit and place them in it. Negative impacts of poor heart health. Development of heart disease comes with the following complications. Heart failure, 
heart attack, stroke, aneurysm, peripheral artery disease, sudden cardiac arrest. And that concludes our video.